Today I wanted to make a quick video discussing some of the recent news surrounding Library. For those of you that have never heard of Library before, it is a free and open source alternative to YouTube. So this is my YouTube channel page. and. If you've ever paid attention to my channel header, you see also watch DT on library and in all my show descriptions, I also tell you guys to follow me over at library.tv, which has always been the front end to library. It's been the place you actually go to watch the videos of your favorite content creators like myself, but library recently sent me an email letting me know that library.tv is being shut down. It is being retired in favor of a different front end at odyssey.com. Odyssey.com is just a nicer looking library.tv. It shows the exact same content whether you watch me on library.tv or odyssey.com. It doesn't matter. You'll find my videos on both. It really, it, it really didn't matter to you guys viewing my content or me creating the content, you know, which site I used or you used. But now they're wanting to get rid of the library.tv site in favor of the much more attractive and <laughs> more fully featured odyssey.com because they did implement some features in this website that the old library TV didn't have. The other thing is having odyssey as the name does clear up some misconceptions. For example, library technically is the name of the protocol behind this technology. And if you also had the website, the front end library.tv being called library, or when people talk about library, are they talking about the protocol itself? Or are they talking about this website? So having a website with a different name, in this case, Odyssey, does make things a little less confusing. And if you guys are not signed up over at odyssey.com, I'll put a link in the show description, a referrer link. Go sign up at odyssey.com and follow me or follow all of your other favorite content creators. You'll probably find many of your YouTube favorites over at odyssey.com, especially if they do anything in the Linux space or anything about free and open source software, or if they do anything about cryptocurrency. Most content creators that cover those kinds of topics probably have their content over on odyssey.com. The next story I want to make you guys aware of is the fact that Library has been sued by the SEC, and it's a pretty serious situation. It actually caused Library to build a separate website just to get the word out about this lawsuit. They made this website at HelpLibrarySaveCrypto.com, and I will link to that website in the show description. And as you can see here at the top of the page, Help Library Save Crypto. The SEC doesn't understand blockchain. The claims made in SEC versus Library would destroy the United States cryptocurrency industry. I'm not a legal expert, so I won't get into all of the finer details, but just the overview from the Library guys here on this website is that the SEC, they're advancing an aggressive and disastrous new standard that would make almost all blockchain tokens securities. So th what it is, is the SEC is claiming that library credits, LBCs, are actually securities and thus should have been registered with the SEC as such. And classifying all actively developed blockchain tokens as securities is essentially going to be a problem for almost all cryptocurrencies. And it's going to you know, shut down a lot of uh, the technology and the businesses surrounding cryptocurrencies. Now, I do want to mention when they talk about securities, what is a security? A security is essentially something that you own that can be easily traded. And typically when we talk about securities, we're talking about owning parts of a company. So we're talking about stocks and bonds, right? When you own a stock in a company, you own stock, you basically own part of a company. You own a share of the company. When you own bonds, you actually have bought some of that company's debt. You've essentially lended money to that company, hoping that one day they'll pay you back with interest and you'll make a little bit of money. So that is what we're talking about with securities typically is things like stocks and bonds and ETFs. And according to the SEC, these library credits, these LBCs, they view them as securities because library used it basically to fund their company, to get started and fund their company and fund all their development. And then people on the library platform over at odyssey.com, of course, or everybody's paying each other in LBCs. It's essentially like we're buying and selling stocks in the SEC's eyes. Now, again, I'm not a lawyer and especially I'm not a financial lawyer, so I don't know all the, the very intricate details with this lawsuit. I do know it is a big deal. This is a very big deal, not just for a library, the company, 
but for all cryptocurrency. And what library wants, library wants people to help out. And by helping out you know, here on the help library save crypto.com website, they're asking people to share the story, which is why I'm telling you guys, I have this platform. I'm letting you guys know you guys share this story as well, because I think Everybody that is associated with any kind of crypto technology and everybody associated with free and open source software should know about this story. Also, the library guys have started a petition. Now, do petitions mean anything? Typically, they don't mean much. I don't think they're going to mean anything at all in a lawsuit, but they're asking you guys to go put your signature on a petition. Hey, it doesn't hurt anything, so I'm urging you guys go sign the petition. And if you guys want to stay informed on the story, they do have a newsletter sign up. And uh, other than that, we will just wait and see. Now, they do have a frequently asked questions page here as far as uh, summarizing exactly what this means for those of us that use library. And at the end of the day, they say uh, for content creators that use library or that publish on Odyssey, it, does it matter to us what happens? No, I'm like, we're not in any danger here. Also, those of you that use odyssey.com, the lawsuit really has nothing to do with you. It's really all about Library Inc., the company behind uh, the protocol and the cryptocurrency itself. At the end of the day, I'm not exactly sure what the result of the lawsuit is. I, I don't know what the chances that library will actually succeed in fighting this lawsuit. I would say their chances are probably slim because I do know the SEC here in the U.S. when they sue companies over uh, violations like this, you know, it, it almost always results in a win for the government. It's very hard to fight the SEC. Uh, they're just one of those organizations that are one of those government entities. When they go after somebody, they almost always win. But, you know, this thing will probably play out over a number of months, maybe even a number of years. Who knows when we'll actually get a result from an actual trial. But for now, I'm over at odyssey.com again. Guys, check the link in the show description if you're not already following me over at Odyssey. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Absy Dallas Gabe, Lou Mitchell, Alan, Akami, Arch5530, Chuck, David, The Other, David, Dylan, Gregory, Lewis, Paul, Scott, Wes, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode you just watched would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because the channel is sponsored by you guys, the community. If you'd like to support my work, look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. Being on Odyssey makes it very hard to get canceled, too. <laughs>